Morning. Back to a bit of Payne's Grey with this one. I'm going to revert back to the original Ron Ransom cloud colours of uh, alizarin crimson and uh, Payne's Grey. I've got lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, Payne's Grey and burnt sienna in my palette. Uh, Mike Porter, who produced a uh, film of Ron Ransom quite recently, fairly recently, um, commented on one of my videos today. So he's a hate painter. So if you get a chance, have a look at uh, to Ron Ransom, Mike Porter. It, it's lovely to see Ron Ransom. He pioneered the, the hake and, and the palette, not this particular one. Uh, I'll explain that more. Uh, over 35 years ago, he used a large tray, which I have, which I don't use very often. And he used the paint, 21mm tubes of Cotman, that's the Windsor and Newton. It's the way to, it's a good way to buy the watercolour. It's fairly inexpensive and you get a lot of it. It's not artist quality, but it's good enough for what we, we're using it for. Um, and he, he developed the, the technique back then. And I'm, as Stephen Cronin, are demonstrating our use of it. We've been using this, these brushes for many, many years, although I had a break of about 15 years when I was doing loads of oil paintings, loads of Venice Impressionist paintings. But I got back to, to this to help a friend out with her watercolours. And I thought I'd better stop and learn my old techniques again. But it's a lovely brush. A lot of people that I know, you don't persevere with it because it's not as easy as it looks because of the amount of water it holds. But uh, it's well worth the effort. And if you're a beginner, don't give up because you can't do it. It's not a, 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 a God-given talent. It's, it comes after years of practice. Why should it be that easy? I, I'm not saying I'm a good painter or Stephen Crone is not saying he is. We just do a lot of it and we've done a lot of it over years. But it's a worthwhile interest and who knows where it might lead. I'm going to do Dartmoor again. If you're stuck for things to follow, there are plenty of free photographs on, on um, Google. Just, just uh, type in the area you want to paint. And if you could get the paintings free, copyright free, then that's fine. But as you know, even if I use a, a photograph, I change it. I don't do my, uh, I don't copy it. So Dartmoor, uh, I've got one on the screen at the moment. I'm not going to show it because I don't want to infringe copyright. If, uh, indeed, there is any copyright on this one. It's a standard view. The, the picture is it, not owned by anyone. It's a fairly standard picture. A lot of distance, I've, I've tended to put in more peaks on my recent dark moors, but, it, but it's on the plane itself, it's, it's, it's hilly, but uh, well, let's get on with the painting. I'm going to put in a raw sienna sky background, just to give a unifying warmth on the white paper which will hopefully shine through the clouds when I put them on. I'll put a bit of, you've got to be careful that you haven't got any dry spots. Okay. Let's put in some blue. Up some rain. Very light. Okay, that'll do for that. Now we're going with some nice clouds. So the alizarin, it's got the colours on it. You don't want too much water on the brush. So there we are, I'm just bringing the height back together again. Remember that this dries lighter than we put it on. But the alizarin gives it a nice warmth.
that was mentioned that the hake does give uh, a blocky feel to it, to the actual marks you make on the paper, but that's part of its charm. A bit of darker shadow at the top there then. Okay, that, that will do. I want the, the, the horizon a bit lower than that, so I'll put it very, very faint. Smaller clouds going off into the distance, fainter. They will hardly register. Right, I'll re clip the paper. <coughs> Ron Ransom got very popular 35 years ago. I, I, uh, I, I, I borrowed a, a video of, of his that was circulating in the art club I belonged to for many years. And to be quite honest, it, it just blew me away. Right, let's put in uh, some background, some blue, just mix a bit of blue with that but very, very uh, faint to show some distance. Um, bit of crimson in there as well. We've got a peak coming down here. So we'll. So there we are. That's a. And we can darken that. A bit of ochre. Uh, sienna. Yeah, some. Right. Some very faint colour in there. Some faint bluey yellow all part of the distance right so we'll just bring that down a little bit I'll detail some of this Just to give the distance. Right, let's put in some nice green now. A bit of black, oh grey, paint's grey. Bit of ochre, or sienna, should I say. So we'll, we'll have some hills coming over there. So we've got some lighter colour in there. Keep the brush clean. You need a big wadge of cloth for this to take the excess off your brush. Some darker areas in there and some nice lights. Before that dries, I, I, I want some darker, warmer. Some gorse and all sorts of coarse grasses in here. And I'll warm it up as we come to the uh, mm. 
Right, we've got a nice tour. Well, it's a mound. Sometimes you feel as if you could do with two two hikes. I'm mixing just the plains grey with a bit of sienna, burnt sienna. Okay, brush. I'm gonna put some grass, some shadowy sort of grass in here. And some oh excuse me, I've got to go and uh, Shut the lovely sun out, some beautiful skies going over. A bit like the ones I'm painting, but uh, quite a lot of cloud, but plenty of light and sunlight. It's very cold. Yeah. <coughs> oh, it's warm this up here. Oh, I will texture over this. Anyway, this is just in the background colours. I'm going to put in some warm rocks here and then I can just lift off with the card. So we've got uh, like all these undulations. I'll go back over that. Right, let's just take out some light. A bit of water on the paper now. Let's just clip it as flat as possible. Yeah, that has gone a bit wet. So I'm just going to use very thick paint in that because it won't register otherwise. So we've turned that around a little bit there. Let's just put the very rocky parts of Dartmoor. Mm. Okay, that, that'll do, that'll do. Let's uh, get some of this warm, warmer green. So the paint's grey and lemon yellow. Now all we need to do now is to put some texture on that. I'll give it a give it a dry. I'll find my handle there. Right. 
Right, now the fun starts. We've got a bit of rigor. <coughs> and I'll start to add some some text. Um, no, I don't know. Let's keep, keep the video. Uh, See, there's so much water on the hake now. This is this is what you need to learn is is to how is the, how much water to put on the brush. So we've got all of this. Oh, I need a bit more water than that. Giving the shape of the ground, yeah, with the the sort of the, with the foliage on it, the, the different grasses, the mosses. Put some figures in. Could put some more rocks in. Did that give a the lie? Some, some darker greens on the slope here. I want to put some bluey greens now, darker blues. Over the top of this just to show some. Some scrubby trees on the top. And let's separate the, uh, the background from Very delicate. Separate the background from the foreground or the middle distance of it. Right, I've put a few rocks. We're just exaggerating a little bit. Bit of sort of a shadow in there. <coughs> right. 
let's, let's put in some thistle type things. So that's the thickish sort of greeny. I think sheep graze this as well. Right, let's uh, put a couple of figures in. Just going over here. Similar to what I did yesterday. One there, and uh, one there, tops of the trousers just disappearing over the, uh, the ridge there. And I'll give scale to everything. I'll put a signature on it. Some birds of birds in. Okay. I think we could probably put a little figure. The light red, be very careful of it, it's a very, very strong colour, for, even for a student quality. So we'll put somebody here, just having a little. Climb up there. Right, okay, that's all I can do on that. An impression of Dark War. But a different sky. So I'll put the mount on. Uh, so there they are. Very, very simple picture of Dark. There's a little, still a little bit muddy here. I'll work on that. I will. Uh, well, I will. Okay, let's uh, bring you around and zoom you in, and you can have a look at my bit of Dartmoor. It look, it, these look better on, on the screen. That looks quite good, but it's from here. It looks quite muddy. But with a mount and a frame on it, that would look very nice. So there's my sky using the paint grey and the alizarin. Oh, I enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. See you later.